What's the best webcam you can buy in 2024? I'll tell you, it's this guy right here. The OBSBOT Tail Air. At $500, this webcam is worth every single penny and then some. And I'm gonna tell you why in this episode of Level Up. Now, full disclosure, before we get started, OBSBOT did send me two OBSBOT Tail Air webcams for the purpose of doing an honest review. And that's what we're gonna do. As you guys know, I operate by an ethics statement that I send all my vendors in which I let them know that you may send me products, but it doesn't guarantee that I'll make a video. And if I do make a video, the opinions expressed in my videos are my opinion and my opinion alone. And I upload them when I'm ready and you guys get to see it before they do. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the OBSBOT itself so you guys see what comes on the webcam. Let me get this in position so it stays focused on the OBSBOT and not me. We've got our power button right here, our USB-C input, which allows you to connect it to your computer to use it as a USB-C webcam, or you can use this to charge it. And by doing that, it allows you to charge it and connect it to your computer at the same time. So you don't have to worry about which one do I need to choose or which one is more important. You can do both with that adapter. And then on the bottom, we have our micro HDMI input. That's right, I said micro HDMI because you could also hook this up to your computer via HDMI and a capture card and use it that way. Wow. Now, if that got your attention, man, I'm telling you, this is only the beginning of what this webcam can do. It is really, really cool. Now, as you see right here, we've got four dots for indicator lights. This is your battery life. Uh, four dots is fully charged. It's down to two. When unplugged, this will give you about two hours of battery life unplugged. If you leave it plugged in, you're going to be just fine long term. So I'm already at 50% and I've already had it unplugged for about an hour, a little over an hour. So I'm down to 50%. So that's not bad. And on the front, we see this indicator light. When it is static or basically tracking is turned off, it's green. I'm gonna turn this on to tracking. And now you see the light on the front is now, let me, cause it's following me. You see right now, the light is blue. Check that out. All right, so when it's tracking you, it's blue. When tracking is turned off, it's green, but when it loses you, it'll go yellow real quick just to let you know that it's not tracking you anymore. So you see that like amber yellow color right here. And that's basically the OBSBOT letting you know that it has lost you in tracking. And then when it re-engages you, you get the blue light again. Pretty cool. All right, now that we've seen the OBSBOT tail air, let's go ahead and see what came in the box. All right, once we open the box, you get a set of instructions. You get this Teflon, tough, uh, rugged case. It's not solid, but it is sturdy. Holds the webcam in there itself. And you see you've got some extra packaging in here, some accessories. Let's take a look. We have a 3.5 millimeter input for direct headphone monitoring. The accessories that come with the OBSBOT tail air inside the package. You get a USB-C to USB-A adapter. OBSBOT gives you an adapter, which gives you the ability to charge it and connect it to your computer to use it as a webcam at the same time. And all you have to do is take your adapter, plug it into the USB-C input, and then you see the logo on the top is for charging, and on the bottom is your network connection. You also get a heavy-duty USB-C to USB-C cable for a heavy-duty data transfer. All right, let's take a look at some of the features that are inside the OBSBOT tail air start app that you're going to need to operate this let's start with the picture in picture and as you see on the screen right here uh, encapsulated in red that is the image that the obsbot tail air is capturing now you're going to see that image in the upper right hand corner that is your picture in picture that is what is being sent out to whatever device that you are recording on in the bottom corner right here, you see P1, P2, P3. What are those? Those are the presets that you can save, your custom images. Uh, when you have those, you're going to notice on the screen, you're going to see P1s and P2s and P3s. Let's go ahead and hit play so you guys can see this. There's P1. That's a preset letting you know that the image is there. Preset number two is right there. And preset number three is right there. So... On your screen, you're going to know just by looking at it where these director grids are going to take you before you push that button. Really cool. I love these director grids. 
The OBSBOT Start app also gives you the ability to adjust your image settings. You can leave it in auto or you can switch to manual to adjust things like your ISO to get the proper lighting that you want and also adjust your shutter speed so you don't have any of that flickering going on depending on the light that you have uh, in your studio. That little symbol on the bottom, the circle with the plus symbol and the sprocket, it gives you a slidable view option to change what you're sending out to your computer as you see in the upper right hand corner in the PIP. Slide it left to right, and you can change what is being sent out to your recording device. The app also gives you full access to gimbal controls remotely. That's right. As you see in the upper left-hand corner in that circle with the white dot, that is your gimbal control. By touching that with your finger and dragging it around, wherever you make that white dot go, it will also make the OBSBOT tail air follow it. Now you can track objects with the OBSBOT tail air. All you have to do is with that little green box you see in the middle, box select the object that you wanna track and away you go. Works amazing from a distance. But I will say when I was up close in that two to three feet range, your typical desk setup, the quicker movements, it did struggle a little bit. So be mindful of that if you're using it for desk setup, but if you're doing it from a distance, it performs just fine. All right, let's take a look at some of the features that are inside the OBSBOT tail air start app that you're going to need to operate this starting with features like gesture controls zoom and dynamic zoom and as you see on here as i'm scrolling uh you can access those through the three dot feature on your left little icon down there and starting with the zoom feature i can use my hands as you see in the upper right hand corner uh let's get rid of that side screen right there so you can see but by holding up my hand in that uh gesture right there and taking it down, putting it back up, not moving it, but just placing it in front of the webcam, I can have my camera zoom in to me and out without having to be right up on my computer. All right, let's take a look at the dynamic zoom feature. What is that? Well, let's take a look. Instead of one hand, I can place up two hands and by spreading the gestures out and bringing them in, it does a quick instantaneous zoom in and out more dynamic, as they say. <laughs> so what you're looking at right now is me on the OBSBOT Taylor. Uh, first thing in the morning, grab my cup of coffee, just turn on my computer. I forgot to shut everything off. It was all still on. And this was an absolute shocker surprise. And I think an absolute testament to how awesome this is in low light situations. I mean, you could not pick a worse situation in order to make sure that a webcam, same webcam now, a webcam cannot pick up my face. There are zero lights on in my studio whatsoever. The only light coming into the studio is that window right there. That all this light is going directly into the webcam, the lens. If you're a novice, if you're a beginner when it comes to lighting situations, how to light up a room, how to light up a room properly, don't worry. If the OBSBOT can do this in this situation, which is a no-go, don't ever, but it can still pull my face out of this, imagine what it can do when you're just trying to do anything, something. You're just trying to figure lighting out. Imagine what it can do for you because you're never, God help you if you ever think that this is the setup you're going to use, but I'm just saying, whatever you're going to do will never be this bad. And just when you think you're, you couldn't be any more impressed. I just closed my blackout curtains. There's no light in this studio whatsoever other than that light behind me on the wall, the little RGB ribbon lights, the cheapies, like $15 on Amazon. That's all that is. Nothing fancy, nothing high tech. And my monitor screen. Seriously, you can't, I mean, if you're a gamer and you don't like lights on your face and you just want people to be able to see your face as you're going, what? in the world. You want to talk about exceptional, exceptional, mind-blowing, low-light performance, the OBSBOT tail air. Oof. Speechless. I'm speechless. If you are a webcam person, minimalistic setup, it's able to track my face in a pitch black room with just a monitor lighting my face and pull this kind of lighting out. It's like night vision stuff. Wow. All right, let's check out the NDI feature that comes with this webcam. I have it hooked up via the Ethernet cable, hardwired into my M1 Mac Mini. That's the OBSBOT Tail Air 1. Now, OBSBOT Tail Air 2, you see in the upper right-hand corner, I had hooked up via the Ethernet cable into my modem. 
and I unplugged it thinking that that would disconnect or lose the connection and it was still transmitting to my M1 Mac Mini via the wireless connection of the NDI feature. Totally blew my mind. I didn't even think that was possible, but I was able to maintain my NDI connection wirelessly. Took it downstairs. Uh, three floors, by the way. I'm on the third floor. My daughter's on the first floor. Thought I would drop that down on the dining room table to make sure she uh, was doing her homework like she's supposed to. And she didn't know that the camera was actually sending a video signal to me because there were no wires hooked up to this thing. She thought she was just kind of goofing around and acting like she was doing a webcam. And as you're going to see in a minute, I actually start moving it. And then she realizes that she is being watched by dad. And that, yeah, there we go. You see her face. She just realized that she's busted, not doing homework, playing on her phone. And as you see right here, also the cool thing is you're able to operate it remotely as you saw just a few seconds ago, using the app, the OBSBOT Start on my iPhone, and I can control the gimbal, deactivate or activate, auto tracking. Uh, you do see there's some uh, dark bars, horizontal, uh, horizontal on the upper right-hand corner. That's because the auto features were on, auto exposure, uh, auto white balance, things like that. I was able to negate all of those things and get a wonderful picture, similar to the one you see on OBSBOT Taylor, one that's on me, uh, just by adjusting the white balance and the shutter speed to match the lighting in the room. We love it. So there you go. This is the OBSBOT tail air in the NDI connection. The RTSP has the same image quality, but I did notice that the delay is a little bit more than the NDI connection. We'll go ahead and try the RTSP connection uh, just so you guys can see that. And then I'm going to come back with my final thoughts on the OBSBOT tail air. So the OBSBOT tail air is now wirelessly connected, as you see here, the RTSP with the stream key for my OBSBOT tail air downstairs, three stories below. Now, if you're curious to see how the microphone performs through the wireless connections NDI or RTSP, this is what the OBSBOT tail air microphone, how it does as far as quality, three stories away. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to mute my microphone and unmute hers. I've now switched the microphone on so people can hear what the microphone on that webcam sounds like. You want to go ahead and say something so they can hear you? Hey. Hi, guys. My name is Addison Newman from him. Uh, I am here with this camera and microphone kind of mixed together. And uh, so I didn't know what was going on until... Until my dad called me just now, or when he came down. So when he came downstairs, that's when I figured out every what everything was going on. So I was like, huh, maybe he's trying to spy on me or something. But yeah, I'm Madison Newman. <laughs> I'm done. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. Can I hang up? Oh, no. That scared me. Wireless, the OBSBOT tail air. Dude. So let's go over my pros and cons regarding the OBSBOT tail air. I, I just wrote them down right here because the pros are so many. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. So number one on my list for pros was its wireless capability. What sets this apart from any other webcam that is out there in the market, like my favorite webcam up until this date was the OBSBOT Tiny 2. It was the Insta360 link before that. But I feel like the OBSBOT Tiny 2, the superior tracking, the better colors, the true HDR ability or functionality with this just kind of set this ahead of the Insta360 link for me. I love this webcam. But the fact that I can use the OBSBOT tail air wirelessly, uh, I can connect it to my computer via an R RTSP connection, or I can connect it to the NDI with the net, uh, NDI adapter. And then when I unplug it, I'm still able... Like, I was totally shocked when I unplugged it and carried it downstairs to my dining room. I was still transmitting via the NDI connection to OBS. So that you can use it wirelessly, an NDI and RTSP when connecting to your network. Just the fact that you can use this wirelessly and the performance that it gives you wirelessly. I, I felt like I was getting just the same great quality video uh, wirelessly as I was getting wired. And again, I'm able to eliminate cables while doing it. I absolutely love that.
Number two was the mic. The built-in microphone to me is up until this point, the second best microphone that comes with the webcam. Uh, number one in my book is the Samson Video Mic Go To because honestly, that's more of a $99 condenser mic built into a uh, budget-friendly webcam. So to me, it's more of a microphone that gives you video capability rather than a great webcam that's trying to throw something in there to give you audio capability. It's kind of backwards. The microphone that's built into this one, I felt like up until this point, it's the best built-in microphone that you can get in a webcam to this date, at least for what I've tested. It's, it's adequate audio. The other pro is that you can use this with your iPhone. Now, full disclosure, when you first get this, you need to use your iPhone. That's how you first connect it. You register it and get it going. You got to download the app. That's one of the reasons why I wasn't able to make a video right away when Obsbot first sent this out to me back in November, I believe it was. Couldn't do a video because all I had were iPhones and Mac computers and MacBook Pros and Mac minis. They hadn't released an app that was compatible with Apple yet. It was only Android devices, so I had to wait. So, But now it's out. Just let you guys know, it's Mac and PC friendly, but you're gonna need to connect it to your iPhone via the Obsbot Start app. With the Obsbot Tail Air, I can literally just hold my phone up, make sure my framing is right, the coloring right is coloring is right, and the lighting is right. So that is really cool that I could use my phone to monitor and operate the Obsbot Tail Air, regardless of where it is in the room. Another pro is the accessories that you can buy separately, but add to it to improve the capabilities and have more options with it. You can get a, a remote that Obsbot, and they sent me this remote as well. You can connect up to three different Obsbot tail airs to it. You can use this gimbal control to operate the gimbal and move your camera around. You can take snapshots with it. It even has a laser pointer for laser tracking on this thing. Like this red button right here, when you turn it on and you point your laser wherever in the room, the Obsbot tail air will track that laser spot. Dude, are you serious? Also, you can get a network adapter and this allows you to plug it directly hardwired into your home network and you can plug these into your different ethernet inputs throughout the house. And again, be able to broadcast through uh, OBS or your streaming software and access those cameras anywhere within your network. So enough fluffing it up. I had to come up with some cons because this is a hard one to hate. It just is. So number one on mine was I did notice that when it came to tracking, I felt like when compared to the Obsbot Tiny 2, this thing was absolutely amazing when tracking you, no matter how fast or how quick twitch uh, you were moving, no matter what you did, if you disappeared behind objects, it, re it reacquired you really, really good. With the Obsbot Taylor, I still feel like it did a really, really good job, just not as good as this. So again, it's a con, but it's not a con. I'm just, I'm just trying to find something for you guys so it's not just all glowy, rosy. I just want to let you know. If you think you're gonna get this and it's going to track as good as this, it's like a step below. I mean, it's just a little step, just a little step. The other con is actually, what was a pro was how awesome and great this microphone is. My one con is it comes in too hot. I was clipping in OBS and my audio was unusable. So I had to bring it down in my app. So just know that if you bring it down, you're gonna be just fine. But Again, I'm really digging here for some cons. So to me, I would have liked the default audio setting for the Obsbot Taylor to be just a little bit lower. And uh, the third con I had was it's it comes with a learning curve. It comes with a learning curve, but you kind of got to expect it. I mean, honestly, I mean, how many people out there that are watching this video know what NDI is or RTSP and how to make those connections? I didn't. It's going to take some time. It's not a plug and play when it comes to NDI and RTSP and that wireless connection. It is plug and play when it comes to using it as a regular webcam via the USB-C input or the HDMI input. You just gotta go into your app, select which one you wanna use, and you're running with it. You wanna use those other ones, you're gonna have to do a little bit of reading up, read your instructions, read some, watch some videos of some other people, how they hooked it up. That's what I ended up doing, like instructions to me. Like I have some ADD, I need to be able to see someone do it. So I watched a couple of videos of some other people that had one and how they hooked it up and I was running. So it just takes a day or two. And lastly, the other con, the price tag, $500. It's a big leap for a lot of people to take. If you're the person that doesn't really wanna dive into cameras and lenses and all the stuff that comes with that, you just want a simplistic setup, a webcam, a one piece of equipment, plug it in and run with it with great, great image quality. This is the closest you're gonna get to mirrorless or DSLR images 
without having to deal with all the headaches. It's a webcam that isn't a webcam and it's not quite a mirrorless camera, but man, it is it is the in-between and it is leaning more towards camera than webcam in that in-between space. So to me, $500 is a lot of money, but not only is it worth it, but as I said, when I opened this video, it is worth $500 and more. You can set it up to be as easy as you need it to be, or you can get as complicated as you wanna be with some of the options on this one. But if you just wanna plug this in, USB-C right into your computer and run with it, enjoy it. This is what you're looking at me right now, the simplest setup for it. This is what you get. I mean, seriously guys, the sky is the limit for what you can do with this webcam. Absolutely. I can say that without a, without a doubt. So those are my pros and cons, my final thoughts on it. I think I've said it a thousand times. I love this camera, absolutely awesome worth every single penny and then some and if you just want to use a webcam in your live stream setup and avoid all this other stuff but you still want good quality there isn't anything out there that can beat the obsbot tail air as far as ease of use simplistic setup and exceptional exceptional video and it's less than a mirrorless camera my sony zv10 for body only i think was like 700 bucks this is 500 bucks amazing video all right, those are my thoughts on the Obsbot Taylor. Thank you guys for watching another episode of uh, Level Up. I can't talk. This has been forever. I've been, it's been two months since I started making this video because I've been testing and testing and beta stuff with this and that and Apple apps not being out and waiting for that and glitches with that and making sure the bugs were fixed on that. And I'm finally there. I'm finally here and I can barely talk. I just want to wrap this up. So thank you for sticking it out after two maybe three months of trial and error, learning, using, taking this thing everywhere. Absolutely love it. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining this episode of Level Up. My name is Mike Newman. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell so you guys can stay notified when future content goes up because it is coming. I'm out.